your goal is to try to make sure your home is a place of peace, order, and tranquility where your husband can renew himself in body and spirit. Prepare yourself. Take 15 minutes to rest so you'll be refreshed when he arrives. And touch up your makeup. Put something decorative in your hair, like a ribbon or a flower. Never complain if he comes home late or goes out to dinner without you. Instead, try to understand his world of strain and pressure and his need to relax. Don't ask questions about his actions or question his judgment or integrity. Remember, he is the master of the house and as such will always exercise his will with fairness and truthfulness. You have no right to question him. I choose to be abstinent. That means no having sex. It's not very common in this day and age and that's why it's my flex. I don't create unhealthy attachments or get mistreated bad. I respect myself too much so we all boys can't fall back. I will keep my legs crossed, crossed as tight as I can. Patiently waiting for the perfect man. Girl, save yourself till marriage. Your husband will thank you for that. It might be hard, but it's worth it. And I'm just spitting facts. A woman's touch. A woman's touch. The magic of Aladdin couldn't do as much. Tell me your wife is annoying without actually telling me your wife is annoying. Okay. I would like to watch a movie with you tonight. However, if you have thoughts about the movie, please keep them inside of your mind so that I don't miss the dialogue between the characters. <laughs> if you have questions about the movie, remember that I am also watching it at the same time as you, if you continue watching, perhaps as the plot unfolds, you may get the answers that you want. <laughs> I also don't know the answers. I don't want commentary. Thank you. It's me again. I know you're out with the boys having fun and you won't be home until later, but I really missed you and I did not expect you to answer. That's why I'm leaving you this voicemail. But anyways, uh, I wanted to ask you if you wanted to watch a movie when you got home. If you got home early enough, I mean, I can try and stay awake until you get home so we can watch a movie or fall asleep on the couch or something. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to go around to the store, get some popcorn and ice cream and candy and all that good stuff. But totally understand if you come home super late. You're having fun with the boys, so it is what it is. Do whatever you want. Just make sure that you come home safe. That's all I really care about. Um, I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Let's make lunch for my husband. Today I went ahead and cut up some yellow kiwi. I've been noticing that the yellow ones are actually a lot sweeter than the green. I also cut up some salami and cheese so that he could do some cheese and cracker snack. I also added some roasted peanuts and some cherry tomatoes on the side. For the main portion, I'm going to be making him some Spam Masubi. Spam, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. I love you guys. So good. I'm also going to be adding in an egg as well, and here's the best sound coming up. Such a satisfying sound. Anyways, I went ahead and put together the egg and spam. I also added some teriyaki sauce in there as well. Cut them up in half and put them into the box along with a side of pickled radish and some sriracha. Uh, after packing everything together, I went ahead and added a note to make sure he knows that I love, love, love him. You're the f***ing best. <laughs> I love you.
episodio. What's stopping you? Are you too tired? Didn't get enough sleep? Don't have enough energy? Don't have enough time? Is that what's stopping you right now? Don't have enough money? Is that the thing? Or is the thing that's stopping you, you? Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get off the pity party. Telling everybody your sad and sob stories, trying to get people to show up to your pity parties and your pity parades. If you ever see me in a Rolls Royce, a six or seven star hotel, living my life to the fullest, don't get jealous of me. Because I work my ass off to get it. The trees say they're tired, they've borne too much fruit. Charm. Surprising my husband with his spicy accent. Hello? Yeah, baby. I'm having a little snow's chew twit. Oh. Um, <laughs> you, uh, gorgeous. Wow. I I love you. Are you okay? Yeah. Why are you getting so many bottles? This is gonna be for energy. It's gonna be a while. If we hurry up now, we can be ready by 4th of July. 36 weeks pregnant and my husband just went on a run. So I'm gonna get all dressed up and see how he reacts because I've been looking like this lately. Hey. What? <laughs> are you serious? No way. You are freaking beautiful. Thanks. What? Why? How? Are you so perfect? Sarah, this is amazing. Wait, what? What the? After a morning grocery trip, I put my daughter down for her first nap of the day and then put the groceries away. I always clean out my fridge and reorganize it when I do groceries. Next I vacuumed our upstairs. I put baking soda down first because it really helps pick up the pet hair. Next up I did a load of laundry and folded it and put it all away. After that I took my dog outside for some fresh air. Once Ellie was up from her nap I let her play in her playpen while I went and made some hamburger buns for dinner. At those rise I played with Ellie for a little bit. When the hamburger buns were done rising, I plopped them in the oven for about 15 minutes and laid Ellie down for her second nap of the day. I also had to sew a hole in my husband's work vest. I took the hamburger buns out of the oven and after that vacuumed the kitchen floor. Dinner turned out amazing and my husband was being so funny here, but now it's just time to relax with him. You guys, my husband is literally... <laughs> He's literally the best. Today is our anniversary, March 1st. And all I wanted was a booklet of me and my son. And since my son was born, my husband, every time, every time 
my son and I would sleep together. <laughs> Matt wouldn't take a picture of us. And so this is what he got me. This is the first ever photo. <laughs> he titled it My Whole World. And it's all of our photos of my son and I sleeping together over the first year of his life. 